everybody, my name is Jonathan and welcome to Barely Unboxed. For another Rainbow High video, this is part of my Evolution of Rainbow High series. We've gone through pink, red, and orange, and today we are doing yellow. So of course we have Sunny Madison because she's the epitome of Rainbow High yellow. But we have two versions of Sunny. So we also have her fashion pack for the new uh, slime dolls as they're being called because these do have the slime kit kind of thing going on and pets. So I'm actually a fan of these dolls despite a lot of people not really vibing with them but I really like the sparkles <laughs> and the glitter. Uh, I did find a Sunny that has minimal face glitter because too much just it's a little overwhelming. Uh, so you know you can you can still see it it's not as strong and powerful. So these are from the new Rainbow World series where they get transported to another world basically and they have these little pets that hatch out of these crystal egg kind of looking things. It's very, very different than what we're used to with Rainbow High, but I love the fantasy aspect of it. Uh, this is something that if I was a kid and I saw this, I would freak out. I would have been like, okay, I need this in my life. I'm gonna save my allowance and I'm gonna buy this. <laughs> so, the only thing with this Sunny is she does have lots of tinsel in her hair, which can be a little troublesome because we are going to wash all their hair. I've been doing that with almost every video that I've done for this series. And then I, I think it really helps show off the doll at the end, especially for photos. So let's sit Sunny to the side for now. Now we also have Delilah Fields. Now this was um, from series four. I like that it very blatantly says series four. Some of the stickers later on, I, I stare at it forever and I can't read it. But, but this one you can read. Now this doll I've had for a while. Uh, I did get her on sale, I believe, at Target. She's not available in stores anymore, at least major stores. Uh, I think she's a very sought after doll. I will try to find a link to her on Amazon to put that in the description for you all. And this is still when we got to outfits. That was the best time for Rainbow High it was at the beginning when we got the outfit they were wearing plus the second outfit and shoes. And they kind of went back to that when they brought out these fantastic fashion dolls. So this is Sunny uh, Madison in her fantastic fashion outfit. And we are going to compare the two of these out of box when we get them out. Um, you can see they look very different. This, this one looks a little more childlike which I think is what they're going for now. Uh, MGA is kind of rebranding Rainbow High to be more for younger children. And that's why we have the slime and the pet. And these pets are very reminiscent of like, the older days of MGA when we had the poopsie cutie tooties and the slime surprises and the all that kind of stuff. So. <laughs> I really like this dress. It's very unique. It's like an upside down umbrella and it even has little rain drops hanging off of it. But I really like this jacket that she comes with as well. So this will be really fun to take a look at. And like all the fantastic fashion dolls, she comes with like a drawing pad and a pencil that she can hold. Um, I can already tell right now her hair is going to need washed like crazy because it's being held in by so many, so many uh, fasteners. Um, and then we also have 
the really these fashion packs are actually really cute. Um, they're a little more kid friendly. Like the bag is plastic, and these roller skates. I don't think the wheels move on them. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, I I guess we'll find out when I open it. But I really like these socks and this outfit. So I think we're gonna put Slime Sunny in that outfit and see what she looks like. Uh, and last but not least for this yellow video, I do have two yellow uh, fashion accessories. The mini uh, studio, what is it? I always get the, the name is so long. It's the Rainbow High Mini Accessory Studio. <laughs> And these are international packaging, so they have, um, they have like all the, the words for handbag on here. Um, it does show what you can get in the back. Oddly enough, none of these are the yellow one. This one that is yellow looking is actually an orange purse that we got in the previous video. So we'll see. Uh, there is one handbag for Sunny that I still need. So hopefully one of these will have it. And uh, her other handbag is very similar to the one that she comes with in the slime one. So maybe we'll get that too and we can compare those. So what shall we start with first? I think we should start chronologically. And we'll start with uh, Miss Fields here. Now she is in the packaging that tells their focus. She is a creative writing focus. I really like it when their focuses are very like different than a lot of the other like fashion oriented ones. Uh, here is the back and these are all the other dolls in this series. I started getting into Rainbow High as this series was leaving stores and being clearanced. So I actually did get uh, the blue doll and this like maroon doll uh, on clearance. And they were kind of like my first two Rainbow High dolls that I was like buying, knowing that I wanted to collect the series. So I never got uh, the lavender or the green doll, but I do have the orange one. Uh, the maroon one right here. This is Mila Barrymore. And then we have Mina Fleur. She is very Indian influenced. I really love her whole style. Uh, and then, of course, we have Delilah Fields. Uh, and then this is Jewel Ritchie. And she has uh, Vitiligo where uh, she has different patches of skin color. Uh, it's a really cool doll, and I really, really wish I would have got her because it's very unique. Uh, and then this one is Coco Vanderbilt. And lastly, we have Lila Yamamoto. There's just those two that I didn't get from this series, so hopefully I can find them eventually at a good price. It's, or even if I can find them secondhand, even if they don't come with the clothing, I would, I would still be happy, especially with Jewel Ritchie, since she has a, that really unique skin tone. So we're gonna go ahead and get uh, Delilah out of her box, and we'll take a look at her. So we got Miss Fields out of her box, and I am so impressed with this doll overall. She's so sweet looking. She has so much detail. I will say there are still some little plastic fasteners holding her clothes all together, so I'll be removing those as we review her. And she does have very minimal um, product in her hair. I miss that. The newer dolls have so much product in their hair. It's like whoever or whatever machine or person or who, I don't know how they do it, is putting it in their hair. They're just putting too much in. So she has um, basically, I think she's like an albino. I'm not sure if that's her, um, her story 
in Rainbow High, but she does have white uh, eyelashes. Look at that. I took her glasses off so you could get a really good look at that face. Look at how sweet she is. She has little bumblebee earrings. So cute. She has a little uh, daisy bracelet. Uh, she also has little daisies in her hair. Those are on like little elastics. So washing her hair might be a little uh, difficult. We might have to take those out, but so far it's been fairly easy to wash hair without undoing it. But she does have a lot of flyaway hairs up here, so I don't know if that is something I'll need to redo. Um, she has lace and embroidery all around her dress. There's like these little embroid There's like these little embroidered flowers on the lace. It is just so beautiful. And her dress velcros uh, in the back. She has like cowboy boots or cowgirl boots, maybe. Her one leg is a little loose, um, but she has all the uh, articulation that you expect in these older Rainbow High dolls. She has the thigh articulation, the double jointed knees. She has the elbow articulation and the removable hands, which also have articulation in them and the shoulder rotation and so she can she can touch her face all pretty much not perfect like like if she had double jointed elbows but uh i really appreciate all the articulation that you got with these older dolls she even has very very faint uh freckles and I think you can see them right there. She does have a little dirt on her forehead, so I'll have to try cleaning that off when I give her a hair wash and a condition. And she also has lace socks. So that is really cute. Now, a lot of people were saying that she was based on Taylor Swift, and I can kind of see that. She kind of does have a little bit of a a Taylor Swift. Now let's look at her glasses. They do say a rainbow on both sides. And these are really cute glasses. I like that the lenses are slightly uh, cloudy just so you can see that there's lenses in there and she does come with a comb and the stand um, that all the rainbow high dolls usually come with. Even the newer ones come with a comb and a stand. Although they did not include combs with some of the dolls that don't have combable hair. So there is that, which is kind of interesting. And that didn't happen until later. So she also has painted yellow fingernails. So they just, they really, really went all out on her yellow theme, except for her really beautiful, uh, ruby lips so i don't know maybe those are more salmon i don't know they're it's hard to see on camera what color the lips really are but they're really cute so she also uh, comes with her second outfit which i have not uh, taken out of the box yet so we'll go ahead and do that her pants have a embroidered B on the pocket on that side and an RH on the other side and embroidered daisies all around. It's really, really cute. Uh, and then she has like a very uh, spring or summery uh, like halter top. I really like these the second pair of shoes that she came with. They also have a little B on the back and daisies and you can see some of the daisies like every other daisy has just an empty ring and then the other ones have like a little 
detailed and side things. So those are really cute. She has this little under skirt, which you could totally wear by itself with this halter top. In fact, I think we're gonna try that out first. So let's get her uh, top dress off. Now this also has Velcro on the belt right here. So you do need to do that. And the belt actually looks like it can come off. So you could even like wear the belt with the pants. Oh, I wonder if that's their intention. Maybe, let me see. Can we get a belt through these loops? Uh, maybe not. It looks like it might be a little thick. You could probably get it if you really worked at it but um, I think I'll leave it as is for now and just leave it on the dress. All right, so that is that she comes with a lot of clothing. Like, look at this. I, she has an under top, so you could even just have her like that. That is, that is really cool. This, I am very impressed with this doll. No wonder she was harder to find at the time that I got her. Um, all right, so let's try this halter top on her. I think is what you, I, maybe this is more of a halter top. I don't know. I am not the best at knowing what pieces of clothing are called. <laughs> Despite being a huge fan of Rainbow High Dolls, I'm actually not that into fashion. I just know what looks good and what I like. All right, okay, this works really well because it's the same material. And I didn't have to take her hands off to get that off or on. Look at this. Look at how cute that is. That might be the outfit I leave her in. We'll see how the pants look though. And let's try these shoes. And we can take a look at her socks once we get these uh, boots off. So here is her socks without the boots. It's very cute. And I'm going to leave the socks on her for the time being. I don't know if we'll need to take them off. All right, so she has the painted on yellow underwear. I really like that about the Rainbow High Dolls, actually. Um, it's very nice detail because it's always the same color that matches their whole, you know, overall color scheme. Okay, so here she is in her complete second outfit with the shoes. I did leave the socks on, like I just said. So that is really cute, but I do think I really like the little skirt along with that. But this is what we'll leave her in for the remainder of the video. And we will put all of this to the side and we will give her her glasses back so she can see. There we go. Very cute. Very, very cute. All right. So next let's do uh, Fantastic Fashions Sunny. And so let me give you a look at her packaging. It does have her focus on here and it does say computer animation focus because in the cartoon Sunny has created the Fantasy Friends series. It's like a computer animated cartoon and uh, I do have some of those. They, and I even opened one in a previous Rainbow High video so if you want to watch that you can. I'll try to put a link for it down below in the description. All right, so in the fantastic fashion, we had seven dolls. Um, I've unboxed um, Jade Hunter 
in a video from, I think, last year. And I've unboxed Poppy in the last video I did for Rainbow High. Uh, and I do have a Maya still to open. And she'll be in a future video. Now, I never got Violet, Skylar, or Ruby. And they are on sale. Right now, you can find these dolls for $23 at Walmart and Target. And I believe they're the same price on Amazon. So I'll put links to all that. And then you can even price match at Target. Because in store, they might actually be uh, more than $23. And then you can just show them on their app. And they should be able to. I've done it before. They should be able to price match. All right, so I almost didn't show you the barcode um, for the Sunny Fantastic Fashions. And you know what? I don't think I showed you the barcode for Delilah. So that is Delilah's barcode, if you want to look, try to find her. All right. So let's get sunny out of her packaging and we'll take a look all right so we have sunny out of her packaging and here she is uh, she comes with a very bright yellow stand i really like that and you can see next to delilah how different those are hers is more like gold looking she comes with the matching comb uh, and these combs do say rainbow on them which These combs do say rainbow. They all, they all will say that unless it's a shadow high, and then it says shadow. So we haven't had a shadow high doll in the last video or this video. They don't really have yellow or orange in that series, and I was always kind of hoping they would. And now that that series is pretty much ended, you know, we were we're left with what they gave us. <laughs> so. Here are her boots, which are like rain boots, and they're translucent. They're more like a high heel rain boot. And then she has these little beads that look like rain. Now, she came with this paper, which it almost looks like they're saying you can extend her dress. But it only looks like it does that in the back. So I think it's just saying that for packaging her, they had to push, they had to make it so it could be flat. And then you have to like do that to make it look like an umbrella. I think that's all that's saying. It's, it doesn't really say anything, it just shows you. Um, and then here is her beautiful green eyes. And she has very pink lips. I'm not sure about that shade of pink to go along with this uh, the rest of her outfit. It just looks kind of out of place to me, but if you cover it up, <laughs> I think it looks better. I feel, I feel like a more natural lip would have been a better choice. Now she does have kind of like shimmer all over her face and she has the baby hairs and so did Delilah but they're really faint so I don't know if you've noticed that or not now she does have a pair of wrapped ponytails but in the back she has little braids like I don't know if I could even recreate that hairstyle if I undid it so when I wash her hair I'm only gonna wash these ponytails and condition them and uh, leave the rest of the hair alone because it doesn't have any gel in the rest of the hair. It's only in these ponytails. So um, she has um, earrings as well, and they look like raindrops. They're really pretty. They almost look like real crystal on the video. And. Let's take a look at her second outfit. So to put her on the stand, you do have to collapse her dress back. So, so there's 
that. Now let's take a look at her accessories. All right, so we got all her accessories out and that was kind of a pain in the butt. But I did want to show you the inside of where the dress was. There's this really cool artwork that shows like the fabric she's using and the different gems and the boots and the design is very cool. So uh, I, I like that attention to detail. Whoever does the art for Rainbow High, I really, really love their artwork. It's, it's really well done. All right, so we do have like a puffy jacket. It's like something you would wear like in the rain or in the winter time to keep you warm. And it even has little elastic like pull things. They don't work, I don't think. No, they're just decoration and it doesn't zip. Uh, and then her dress is very, very sequined. And I have some other Rainbow High sequin dresses and the sequins do sometimes fall off. It's just kind of, it's going to happen. <laughs> Whether you want it to or not. And then she has this drawing pad. And on the inside it has the artwork of her dress. Now it does show the dress both ways. And this one over here, it almost looks like closed. So I'm not really sure if there's like maybe those are just different designs and then she decided on this one. I don't think there's an alternate way to wear that dress, but we're gonna, we're about to find out. All right, cause I wanna put her in her alternate outfit. She only came with one pair of shoes. All right, let's see. This looks like it's all one piece, so I don't believe there's going to be any other way that you can wear this dress. So it's this way or nothing. Um, so that's a little disappointing. I mean, that would have been cool to be able to flip that dress upside down so it looks like a normal, like, umbrella. <laughs> uh, and then I will say... I haven't had to take hands off for any of the outfits so far. And the newer slime dolls, you cannot take the hands off anymore. So they got rid of that. And I think that's probably because they're trying to market more towards kids and the hands were always ending up lost. I, I can't tell you, I've seen probably three or four uh, thrift stores that have had rainbow high dolls and some of them are missing hands and it it does prevent me from wanting to buy them because getting the hands in the right skin color is almost impossible now we are going to need to take her hands off to get this jacket on so you just you just kind of gently but forcibly it's kind of hard to you kind of just take your time i have never I don't think I've ever had one break. Okay, I think there was one time and I think it was Coco Vanderbilt. And so I think she's kind of stuck with the hand she has on because I just put it on and figured I would never take it off again. <laughs> so, all right, let's get her hands back on. And always make sure you put them on the, the correct arms. And I will tell you, one of them is usually has a longer peg. And I think that's usually the one that goes in the left arm. Um, from my experiences, that seems to be the case. All right, so... Here she is in her second outfit, which I will say that is also very cute. I really, really like the jacket. The jacket is probably my favorite piece that she came with. I also really like her earrings, which those would work so well on lots of different dolls. You could, you know, you could totally use those on any doll that, because they all have pierced ears. And 
the newer dolls all have the head tilt, which is really nice too. I don't think I mentioned that with Delilah, and I believe she should have that. Yeah. They always look so sweet with their heads tilted, I think. All right, so let's get her in on this stand. Now, the stands with the sequins are kind of, you know, iffy. <laughs> you, you might want to be really careful and put it around the jacket like I just did. And that way it doesn't have a chance to pull some of those sequins off. So she can hold the little pencil that she came with because it has this little notch and you can just attach that to her thumb and then there's really no way for her to hold her uh, note her drawing pad other than to just kind of prop it up on her which I was able to do with Poppy when I did photographs I, I think I used her hand to do it it's it's very difficult to get it to stay I mean there's that it looks a little awkward <laughs> so you can hold your pencil for the rest of this. All right, so I think next um, we will open up both of these since these are from the first era of Rainbow High. And this is the barcode that's on this uh, handbag box. Now I will say this is a sticker on top of this paper, so I don't know if they will all uh, have this. These both have the same UPC. I think all the handbags will have the same UPC because they're they're considered uh, surprise packaging. Just like all of these have the same UPC despite being different outfits because the, there are uh, more that you can get. And I'm actually missing one of those and i'm very disappointed that i i've been ordering from amazon and returning and then ordering again and trying to get the cheerleader fashion pack and i have pretty much given up because the last order i did which i picked up a couple days ago i got two of the swimsuit fashion pack and it's just like not gonna happen so all right, so this actually is the bag I already have for Sunny. And I really, really, really love this bag. And it is made out of like a fake, like a pleather. Like, but then it has this sort of like embroidered looking pattern on the front. It is really cool and it does have a real working zipper and it does have plastic on the inside right now just to flesh it out you know fill it up so we can actually give that to sunny to hold that looks pretty cool i love that design it's so pretty and these bags do come with a checklist I'll show you real quick and one side will be shoes which I finally finished the shoe collection thanks to some very special people some viewers and some friends uh, and then here's the bags I am still looking for this sunny bag which hopefully will be in here <laughs> And then I still need uh, one of these purple bags. I think this one. And then I need this bag, this bag, and I think this bag. So and there's quite a few of the bags still that I need. 
Now these do come with like a little fake receipt and a certificate with a number on it. They are all numbered, which is kind of interesting. And it comes with a drawstring bag that you can use to keep your bag in, which I usually keep them wrapped up in that and then I close the bag up. And I usually don't keep all the packaging. Sometimes I keep the little boxes and I usually keep the receipt and just put it in here. That's probably TMI, you don't, you know, you guys don't really care. Do you? <laughs> but thank you for listening and thank you for watching and I really appreciate all the love and support that I've been getting. Truly, truly thank you all. Alright, let's see. Did we get it? <gasps> we got it. Oh my god. Yes. We got we got the bag. And here it is. It has like basically Sunny's artwork on it, which is very cutesy and very graffiti like. And then the bag does open up and it has a little money charm on the front. That is super, super cute. Okay, you get you get two bags. I'm so excited that we got that. So here is my personal checklist where I have all the shoes marked off. And then here's the bags and I'm gonna go ahead and mark that bag off. So I'm still looking for this orange poppy bag and yep this purple bag and then this Amaya bag this Amaya bag and this backpack but I have all the other bags so uh, Walmart near me has these on clearance for three dollars but unfortunately they don't have any more of the colors that I need to get the ones that I still need in my collection so I'm gonna have to look elsewhere there are other Walmarts I might travel to in the area all right so last sort of last because we do have her fashion pack um, we have slime sunny rainbow world sunny now I probably should have opened her first so I could do the slime because I, I almost always do the slime in these I think I have every time now. Now her box was already open, and I'm not sure if I did that. The tape on the inside though, because these are taped right here for like added security, I guess. I don't really know why it's taped on the inside. Alright, so and then oh, and her barcode before I forget. Now, these are available right now at Walmart and also at Target and on Amazon. So, their retail right now is like $24.99. But you do need to open both sides of the box because for whatever reason they tape them in on the inside. Now, these dolls are heavy because they have so much plastic. So many plastic play pieces. All right, so let's get her out of here and give her a look. All right, we got Sunny, Slime Sunny, <laughs> out of her packaging and her hair is such a mess. This is like, look at that. It's just full of gel. The parts that aren't gelled are so soft the tips of this are gelled, so yeah, she's definitely going to need um, a hair wash and condition. And she has so much tinsel. Like, I don't know how I feel about that. And it's, it's very gold. She also has some, like, really short hairs up here, which I'm just going to pull that out. Okay, so... Their shoes are packaged separately because they're trying to call out the fact that you can put slime in them. So let's go ahead and just get her shoe on her. If... Yeah, and the shoes do open up. 
so that you can fill the souls with slime. Fill your soul with slime. <laughs> that I feel like so many kids toys have slime these days. All right, so here she is with her ridiculous chunky shoes and they look weird because you're supposed to fill them with slime. Um, these pop off like that so that you can fill it with slime. Honestly, if you painted the bottom of this like a solid color, you wouldn't even have to put slime. You wouldn't even know that it was for slime at that point. In fact, that could be something that I might do down the line because the slime eventually is going to dry up anyway, as most slime does. So she has this very shiny, puffy jacket. It's very rough, but underneath she has this really, really cute glittery dress. I really like the dress. And underneath that is like a slip, but I believe that's all one piece. And it Velcro's in the back behind the coat. Uh, no earrings on this doll. None of these slime dolls come with earrings, but their ears are pierced. So some of the uh, fashion packs, at least one of them that I can remember came with earrings. Um, she does not have painted nails. They're just normal, but I really love the way they did her face. The lips are so soft and I like the eyes. And you can see she still has glitter, but it's not as bad. Like everyone is so obsessed with removing that glitter, but I like it. I like the glitter. But you know, that's just me. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. And I do really like these stockings that they gave her. They're very sunny because they have like the rainbow colors to them. Now let's take a look at her accessories. She comes with a bag, which like I said, it's pretty much a recreation of the one from the mini fashion accessories. So, I mean, that's kind of cool in a way. Like, that's pretty cool. Now these open up so you can fill them with slime because that's the whole aspect of these dolls. Let's put, put Delilah back here for now and let's focus on the two Sunnies. I will say I really like the way the face is on this Sunny compared to that one. I just don't like those really pink lips. For some reason it just seems out of place to me. So. She also comes with a pet, and I will say, this is probably my favorite of the pets. It's a little bear, and as my channel name might suggest, I have an affinity with bears. <laughs> this is, um, I think, what is this one's name? I'm looking for it. Uh, it's Sunflower. So you can take Sunflower's head off and you can fill that with glitter slime well not glitter but glitter slime um, and it does have sort of a seal so it stays in there and all the pets have like little unicorn horns in these and then here's the crystal that you make the slime in so you just pull that off and here's the slime powder and then once you make the slime you add this very chunky glitter. And I will no take note that in the UK, or at least other countries that get the slime dolls, their slime comes already made, but then it comes with fine glitter, like really fine glitter to put in the slime and it makes it so it look so cool. Um, she also comes with a comb, and then this is a little scoop and it does have a RH on the tip of it. Yeah. And this you can scoop the slime out. So you can scoop the slime out of the things that you put it in. And then you put the slime back in the crystal when you're done. So I don't have any water. So I'm going to grab some water so we can make the slime. And then we'll look at the slime 
at the very end of the video. All right, so we got some water and you fill the water up to this little black line. And I think I did pretty good. <laughs> and then you take the slime powder. And I'm just gonna cut it open. And then you dump that in there. And it's very yellow. All right. And then you're not supposed to stir it with that spoon. That's not what the spoon is for. Now let's see if this, sometimes these leak. So I did bring a paper towel and now you're supposed to shake it up and down for like a minute. So shake this up for a bit. So let me all know in the comments what you think of these new slime dolls. I know I've asked that in previous videos, but maybe you have a different opinion of them now than you did at first. Maybe you like them better, maybe you don't. Maybe you like them even less. <laughs> but one thing's for certain, we're still getting very high quality dolls for the price. Um, this is stuff you don't see on other doll lines, especially Barbie, like the shoes have multiple colors on them they're painted the clothing has like faux zippers sometimes the items have real zippers i mean we we're getting high quality dolls at a really good price even if these are marketed towards kids um like the detail that they put into the hair um, look at the braids in her hair like, there, that, that's some effort right there. So, we're still getting pretty good dolls. So, I think this has been about a minute. So, we'll just let that marinate. And while that does its thing, we will check out the one last thing for my video. So, this is... Uh, Sunny's fashion pack. Now, it, these can go on any doll. In fact, the colors are all over the place for these. So it just shows you it on uh, one of the characters. And then these are the other uh, ones that you can get, the other five. I have all of them. I, I currently have three of the swim suit set. I have a couple of the ballerina set, which I really like. I really like this party set. The dress for that is gorgeous. That one comes with earrings. Um, the pajama set's cute, but it's a little creepy. It has these weird, creepy <laughs> slippers. But it does come with brettes, which is nice. And then the last one that I don't have is the cheerleader outfit. I was actually hoping to get a few of those because I want to put together a whole... Like, I want to make a Bella cheerleader and an Amaya cheerleader. And because uh, the cheerleader outfit looks very Amaya, it's very rainbow and white. And this is Amaya right here, so I think that would look great with her hair. So this is um, sold on Amazon and apparently in Walmart. I cannot find them anywhere in my Walmarts around here. So here's the barcode. And unfortunately on Amazon, they sell these blind packaged. Basically... You order it, you don't know which one you're gonna get. It took a little bit of effort, but, <laughs> but we got the outfit out. Now this is a really cute shirt. It has like vinyl, vinyl elbow pads and the shorts are like a terry cloth, like a towel. And the wheels do not move on these, which is probably for the best. That way you can actually get the character to stand up. And they have rainbows on one side only. So those are really cute. And then she came with the, or I should say the fashion pack came with headphones that say RH. And little socks. These socks are really cute. I like that they're pink and purple. And she also came with this bag, which does open, oddly enough. And uh, let's see if we can get it closed. It's kind of hard to get it closed again. Uh, and then the back also comes out. I think that's 
so you can get it over their arms a lot easier, maybe. I'm not really sure. So that's the bag. All right, so let's try getting her in this outfit to see what that looks like. And here she is in her fashion pack. And I got to say, I might end up leaving her in this because it's so adorable. It's very 80s. I love just everything. The headphones kind of blend into her hair, but it still looks pretty cool. And I really like these knee-high socks. And I think it just looks really cool. Like she's rollerblading. Now, the stand actually needs to be adjusted a bit because the um, the roller skates actually make her a lot taller. And these roller skates actually have three wheels, so that's kind of interesting. But so there you have it, our yellow rainbow high experience. Now let's take a look real quick at this slime which it's definitely still working. <laughs> it's still kind of like wet feeling. And if you let this sit longer, it won't be so sticky. And you know, you could probably put the glitter in it now if you wanted to, which I think I will go ahead and do just to get it over with. All right, glitter. And now we have glitter everywhere. Everywhere there's glitter. But they want you to do this with your hands. And I'm thinking, I think I tried that with the first slime doll, which I, I did. Um, I had got Violet Willow way back when they first were out. Uh, at the, like back in January, I think it was. So there you have the slime with all the glitter inside. It actually looks pretty. I like it. I think it looks really cool. Um, and then you put the lid back on and let that finish its congealing. <laughs> so I got all their hair washed. And this is what we ended up with. It's nice and soft and flowy. <laughs> it looks like hair now instead of like these hard tendrils, basically. And now she looks gorgeous. So she will go into my collection just like that. I really like that dress. So we're going we're gonna to keep her in her fantastic fashion dress, definitely. And... Uh, Delilah, her hair turned out so gorgeous. Um, it did wash really easily compared to both Sunny's, especially uh, Slime Sunny. She had a ton of product in her hair. There was barely any in Delilah's. I will say, combing through it, she did lose a fair amount of hair. But they have so much hair to begin with that you, you can't really tell. Uh, I did have to redo her her one ponytail here uh, because it started to come undone while washing her hair. And I put her in my favorite combination of her clothing that she came with. I really love this combination together. It just looks really, really cute. And so she might be my favorite of the bunch, to be honest. Now, Slime Sunny, I had a really hard time getting all the gel out of these tendrils. Um, after I washed them, I wrapped them around her arm uh, on both sides, on both arms, and then I secured it against her body and then let it dry naturally. And then now she has these lovely little curls in her hair because of that. Uh, the tinsel is just overwhelming in her hair, and it's kind of a mess. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people buy this doll and remove all the tinsel. Uh, that would mean I'd have to take out her braids and her hair and try to redo those, and I'm not sure I'm skilled enough, to be honest, to get that back to looking the way she looks right now. So I'm just going to leave her as is for now. The tinsel, 
Um, it's only like in the back of her hair and down her, like her part. So I'm kind of wondering what she looks like if you take her hair down, but I, I don't, again, don't want to do that because it would totally be difficult to get it back in the way it was. Now, I will say, as far as slimes go, her slime is absolutely beautiful. It is very glittery, though. Let's see, glitter comes right off on my finger. I'm gonna have glitter everywhere in my office. So, if it wasn't for all that glitter, I might actually try putting it in her shoes, in her bag, and in her pet. And I will say, this is my favorite of all the pets. It's just, it's really adorable. So, I mean, and say what you will about these pets. They, they are kind of creepy, sometimes even a little ugly. I wish they had glass eyes, like the dolls, because I think they would look a lot better that way. But there you have it. Evolution of Rainbow High in yellow. So tell me what you think of these dolls, especially if you have them. Tell me if, which one is your favorite. If you don't have them, which one is your favorite that you saw in the video today? Please leave a comment down below. Uh, mine definitely is Delilah, so we'll just bring her in while I say my goodbyes. Now, I do appreciate all your comments, and I really hope that you enjoyed this video as well as my other Rainbow High videos. I really enjoy Rainbow High. Um, I got my Rainbow High shirt. This is my favorite shirt that I own right now. <laughs> I do have a new one on the way. It's supposed to arrive soon. So you'll see that hopefully in my next video. Next video will be uh, green dolls. And so you can imagine who might show up in that, like a Jade Hunter, probably. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. Hit that bell button for notifications and you'll get notified every time I put a video up, which is every week, uh, every Wednesday and Friday and Mondays has been Kind of my go-to, but I do like to do try to do three videos a week, and that way there's more of a variety for everybody. I have some uh, more Rainbow High videos on the way for every color of the rainbow, so stay tuned for all of those. And thank you guys for watching, and take care out there. Love you guys. Bye.